Japan is well known for many things, from the culture, to anime, to its vast amount of tourism, to its expansive rail network. However, if there's one thing Japan is also known for, is its take on horror. Many urban legends and ghost stories have existed in every era of Japan's history, from the story of Teke Teke to the Long Necked Lady. Even railways have been roped in the Japanese urban legend, one of which surfaced up in the 2000s about a tale of a mystery station in an unknown part of Japan. This is the story of Kisaragi Station. January 8th, 2004. Seems like a regular day on the discussion boards of 2chan, when a person by the name of Hasumi, who wrote on discussion board talking about strange occurrences around you, she mentioned how she fell asleep in a train carriage and then woke up seeing the other passengers asleep. Normally she would take the train as her commute to work, but something felt off. As the train took longer to get to the nearest station, and getting to the driver or conductor was inaccessible. After an hour, the train arrived at a station called Kisaragi Station. The station was deserted, no railway personnel, no other access to public transit, and no other trains really showing up. And the train was already gone before she could even look back. But the situation she was in, she messaged people on the board asking where she was, only to be told that they couldn't find the station anywhere and she should leave soon. She did wander around the station and attempted to find a taxi, but to no avail. Hasumi would try to reach out to her parents and ask her to pick her up, again to find out they couldn't locate her. Contacting the emergency services didn't help as they assumed that she was making a prank call. Things got weirder and more ominous for Hasumi. Distant bells ringing, a drum beat getting louder and louder, and the location just being unidentifiable, which was too much for her. She immediately started to walk down the tracks when a voice called out behind her. Behind Hasumi was a one-legged old man, but it wasn't a station attendant or a railway staff member. Then within the second, the old man vanished, causing Hasumi to panic and run into a nearby railway tunnel. In the dark, she was distracted with what was going around her until she stumbled and injured herself in the process. Getting back up, Hasumi continued on until the end of the tunnel, where she would be greeted by a welcoming man, who offered her a ride back to familiar territory. Having no other option, Hasumi agreed and accompanied the man to a nearby train, and the two headed into the mountains. It is said that Hasumi felt unnerved as the man was rather quiet and the atmosphere felt unfamiliar to her. She would send another message to 2chan stating, Little did people know. This was the last time anyone heard from Hasumi. Despite being a rather young urban legend, it has been referenced a few times in Japan's pop culture. I couldn't find many references, but here are a few that I found while researching. Recently, a film about the story has been made last year, as it does a rather faithful retelling of the urban legend based on the trailer. An unnamed song by Vocaloid XYXYZ is based on the urban legend in its lyrics and has also become one of her most notable songs. A few animes have also referenced the events or even used the Kisaragi station for their own stories. For instance, the anime The Other Side Picnic has Kisaragi appear at the station being nicknamed Station February, with the station being used as a base for the Pale Horse group for a while. Kisaragi makes another appearance in the Shinka Lion franchise, but only for one of the episodes of Shinkans and Haneki Robo's Shinka Lion as the station from another world. Nothing more to say on that one, really. One YouTube anime essentially retold the story in the form of Garaka Pico Omori, a chibi miniseries based off the anime Bang Dream. 
The story features a character, Karada Mashiro, ending up at a deserted station called Marissa Station, which translates to Village Station, with her fellow band members trying to find ways for her to get out. I'd recommend checking that one out if you can. Link in the description. The story of Kisaragi Station is a rather interesting one, from a rather nostalgic period of internet history. And given its popularity of many people, it's another one of the many urban legends to be a part of Japan's history. However, even with its popularity, there is one question that we could wonder. Whatever happened to Hasumi? Maybe she is somewhere out there in an isolated part of Japan, still on the train with that man, on a train to nowhere, all because of one station in the middle of nowhere.